Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Now that's not true. If you go into banks, if you go into public offices, if you go anywhere where there are low-end wages, you'll find thousands upon thousands of colored people who are working. Now, you can't make a generalization about anybody, white or colored, and you continue making them, and those are untruths. Uh, it is not untrue. It is untrue. It can't be, Jerry. There are plenty of people working today. They live in Chatham. There are plenty of professionals who are Negroes as well and probably have a better education and have a better situation than you do. All right, let me ask you something then. Can you tell me one neighborhood that uh, the colored have moved in that has been slums or ghettos before they moved in? If it takes just a little while... Well, then while. you are... Well, see, see, what you're saying, sir, is that the whole question is race. But you called me up and said it wasn't race, and now you've lapsed into the whole racist was, theory. I said it was a race issue. Of course it is. And it should be a race issue. Well, well it's, it's like saying that all Polish people are dumb. Now, that's no, stupid to say that, Polish right? But it, it, but you're, you're labeling all Negroes. I all black people are lazy, and they should work, and they're all welfare, and they all want handouts. Listen, tell me, ask me something, I mean, tell me something then. Why is it that there are Negroes that have, that have the ability in pretty nice jobs today? It's just like uh, Gregory the other day says that we don't have any uh, Negroes in the, higher, uh, in the higher echelon in the police force. Do we have to bring our standards down to them, uh, to the colored level, uh, in order to... Uh, in order to satisfy them? I don't think I have to listen to this claptrap, do you? Uh, I, I mean, if you, do you have a college background, sir? Well, not exactly. Uh, well, you told me you went to college, that your, your yes, father sir, sent you through college. Yes, I years I went to college. Well, gee whiz, uh, certainly you must have studied something like liberal arts or uh, the humanities or something like that. That's true. If you earn Sociology it. or, you know, you must have studied something to understand people. Well, I think it's about time that uh, something's been done, uh, be done about this handing out program. Well, uh, 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 if uh, why, uh, you, why know many, uh, you know how many you know how many Negroes sure. there are in Chicago? Let me ask you. You know how many Negroes there are in Chicago? Right. How many? Well, I imagine about thirty-five percent of the population. Well, that's Chicago. a lot of people, isn't it? Huh? It sure is. All different kinds, right? That's right. Light ones, dark ones, that's right? right. All kinds, right? That's right. Each one in different economic brackets. Some make more money than you do. Some live in Chatham. Some live in the ghetto. Some are downtrodden. Some are poor. Some are violent, some are peaceful, uh, some are fighting in the army so that you can make your money back home. That's right. And, uh, and we uh, know that, uh, that they're bad people. When they come back, you're going to put them down the same bag. Well, then why, why do we have such a high crime rate among them? Why don't you join the army and fight? But we did. Well, why don't you enlist again? We need your help. Why should that Negro fight for you? Because I Why should he go to Vietnam in some jungle and fight for the for well, your theory? That sounds ridiculous. Because it's not ridiculous at all. People. We fought for what we thought was right, and now we're trying to, and now we're getting. Actually, listen. Let me ask. Why you. should a Negro go over there to fight for freedom when he comes back and has to face you? Why? Yeah. Why should he do that? Why should he go off to Vietnam? thousands of miles away, well, fight an enemy, come home, get fight. decorated, get wounded, or perhaps lose his life, and then come back and look you in the face and have to face all those ideas. Well, you just asked the pop and mama stores in Detroit that were just... Uh, That's not the question I'm asking you now. I said, why should that Negro veteran have to come back and face you? We're fight. We're 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 going along the same way that the Nazis did. That they, you can't you can't be safe walking down the street and you're afraid that you'll get ganged up by them. Listen, Nazis right. were racists. You know, they picked on a whole group of people. They used to say That's that right. all they used to say that all Jews were this same old thing. So what you're saying is you're echoing the Nazi line. I am. You are. Yeah, well, people, if, if this is America. Go over abroad and see and see the difference, how wonderful this country is compared to any country in the world. And then here we are, a country as great as ours, that we have to worry about our children. One, one more question. This one more question. Ridiculous. Why should a guy go into the Army and risk his life if he's black and come back and face you? If this boy comes back, and thank God, I hope he does come back, and he's deserving of it, and he works hard at it, and, and, and tries to make something of himself, thank God we got people like that. But how many of these children that are going to be bust in 
can we honestly, truthfully say that everyone that's going to be busted is going to be uh, okay? And how do I know? Them. And how do I know that your children are going to be mentally up to them? Well, we're trying. We spend many of hours. In They're our not country. trying, but you are, right? We try. We try always to try to keep our children to level. And we they don't. Where they are every minute of the day. And they don't, them. right? And they don't. Isn't that true? That's right. And why? Listen, here's another. Thing. Listen, let me ask you this: Do the Jews have all the money? Do, no, sir. They don't. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh, the Italians nom dominate the, uh, the... The Italians don't all smell from garlic? Pardon? Uh, so do the Italians all smell from garlic? There's some that do, and there's some that don't. And do the Irish have a high alcoholic rate? Some do, and some don't. Mm -hmm. and do the Polish all dumb? I don't think so. Did, you, did I strike a chord there? No. Where no. did your father come from? I, I won't tell you where he came from. Why not? Well, he came from Italy, if you want to know so mm -hmm. much. Well, you wouldn't want... Uh, I remember some uh, years back, I, was, I didn't uh, I personally live through this period, but uh, in the uh, mills of Lawrence, Massachusetts, and Italians used to come over. Well, I want to work in those mills, by the you way. Know, you know what they'd say about the Italians? They all smell from garlic. That's know. right, they did. They did? Who said so? They did. I know for a fact. Well, listen, this, this is, this is clap trap. So. I no, ask. I don't want to talk anymore. I want to ask you one more thing. I don't want to talk anymore. Could you tell me why we should burn up gasolines instead of building, uh, burn up gasoline? in busing rather than build new, new schools for these children if they need them so bad? Why should a Negro fight for you? Why well, should he fight for you to, to hate him? Well, I don't hate a Negro, Jerry. I just like to see them make their own way and bring their boot and, and start working for it and quit having... Well, what about those who are... What right about those who are working for it and you don't want Let, Let's say the nice... You know, the Russians are what about the ones who are working? Thank God they're working. What about those kids who want a decent education? If they want a decent education, they can get it exactly, get it exactly. But the way you don't want your children them. to go to school with any Negro children, right? Pardon? Do you want your ch your child to go to school with any Negro children? As long as they keep their uh, keep their uh, property up and keep their manners and 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 and, and live like a, like a human being. Well, what's a human being like? Do you smell it's from garlic, sir? Person. Are you are you your father came from Italy? Are you Italian? No, I hope to tell you. Yeah. You're, you're Italian. You must smell from garlic then. Well, yeah, they, I, well, what about all those Italians that are involved in crime? Well, I mean, that must be. Thing. Wait a minute now. Hold on here. I'm glad you You'll it. look at all those names that are listed in the in that's the book right. by the Chicago Crime Commission. They're all Italian. That's correct. What about that? We're fighting every moment to try to to, to bring our uh, uh, bring our nationality up to the level. I mean, um, you're going to suffer for the crimes of Al Capone, a nice, fine, upstanding young man like you have to suffer for the crimes of an Al Capone? Well, I'll tell you, when I traveled in areas where they weren't familiar with me, I had to do that much better in order to prove that I wasn't what they were reading. Well, in other words, you had to prove to somebody who was wrong in the first place that you were right, I which is ridiculous. I wasn't a hoodlum. Oh, yeah? And were you ever a hoodlum? No, sir, I wasn't. Well, wh why would you have to prove that you're not? Because what kind of a free country is this when you have to prove that you're not what you are? Well, why don't the poor do the same thing? Prove to us. Well, I sir, sir us for this is a portrait in stupidity, this whole conversation, but I wanted people to hear it so that we they would understand. Well, this is... No, the whole conversation is. I'm not calling you stupid. Well, I'm saying the conversation well, is a portrait in stupidity because uh, we are two human beings, I'll tell you. very frail human beings, and if God is listening wherever he is in his infinite wisdom, as you understand or I understand him, he must think that this is ridiculous. Well, I think it isn't. I think it is. Okay. And that's where we part company. Arriva Derci. Twelve minutes past ten. On your radio, WBBM and WBBM FM. The talk of Chicago. Your direct line to total information. The views and opinions expressed on the following program do not necessarily constitute the views and opinions of WBBM radio and participating sponsors. <laughs> Now it's the Jerry Williams Show. Good evening. It's time for the Jerry Williams Show, presented in the public interest by WBBM Radio, the talk of Chicago. 
We cordially extend an invitation for you to participate with your questions, comments, and opinions. Yes, this is your opportunity to actually sound off on the air and engage in debate with the participants. You're also invited to hear interviews with civic leaders, political figures, and celebrities on The Jerry Williams Show. And now, here is America's largest town meeting of the year with your host, the Speaker of the House, Jerry Williams. This is Jerry Williams on America's largest town meeting of the year at Mohawk for 8660. It's curfew time now for Illinois young people under 17. Parents, do you know where your children are? Mohawk 48660, our number. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. I want to straighten you out on that Catholic uh, situation about Rome. Now, you made that statement twice. You said... You don't have to straighten me out on that, that no, subject wait, at all, listen, sir. I know there is no dual allegiance. I don't believe anything now, of that nature. Second. There is no such thing as dual allegiance. You say Rome, and there happens to be a city by the name of Rome in Italy. Well, you're taking now, on the... Now, the state... Now, just let me talk. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt... Papal I'm going to interrupt you until I set you straight on what I said. Now, papal state has now, nothing to do with any foreign Let me just say once world. again, sir, that I don't believe any such thing. I was making an analogy a little bit earlier. You made the cross-reference that the papal state is associated with the country of Italy, which it is not. Well, now, did I say that? You made the cross-reference. Well, you said it's a you did reason. not hear me properly now, or that correctly. Is, that is no difference now, than a national council. Now, are you here. talking to me directly now? Yes. Now, don't you want to hear what I really said or what I really meant? I know what you said. You, you made the statement that a dual allegiance is the same as Catholics donating money to the Catholic Church. I did not to. say that at all. Yeah. I said this. You now you said that on that. Well, uh, sir, I will repeat it after you're off the air if you won't let me say it to your face. Now, if you let me say it to your well, face, I think it'll be a lot better than okay, my saying it well, behind your back. Okay, say it to my face. Now, okay, ready? Now, there was a gentleman here a week ago Monday night who felt that Jews who supported Israel were well, involved... Well, you don't have to go through all that. I'm interested in the Catholic... Well, Catholic either you're going to hear my explanation for it or I'll say it after you're off the air. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to hear my explanation of it? No, you can say that. Let me say one more thing. Well, why, me... why, is, well, it that, why, now, why is it you won't give me the opportunity to explain to you what I meant because you have misinterpreted what I said. No, I didn't misinterpret. Well, I you contend, sir, that I said it and you misinterpret what I say. No, I didn't misinterpret. You interpreted, you made the statement contributing to the Catholic Church. I said statement. nothing of the sort. You, on Monday night, you did too. You better play your tape back and listen. Well, now sir, I'm going to tell you what I said. No, no, sir. I'm going to tell you what I said and then you can, you can again interpret what you want from what I said. There was okay. a, week, a program here a week ago Monday. Yes. where a man contended that there was a dual allegiance involved if Jews also donated to Israel and were involved uh, emotionally, traditionally, culturally, in any aspect with the state of Israel. Now, I asked the gentleman who was here that night, would he consider a Catholic who has uh, an allegiance to the Roman Church, which happens to be in the Vatican, it's a separate state, and I agree with you on that, would he consider that a dual allegiance? Uh, would he consider those people who are Catholics in the United States not patriotic because he contended the Jews were not patriotic as a result of their allegiance, in, uh, to some Jews that is, uh, to the state of Israel? And I contend that that's a false argument. I have never questioned any Catholic's loyalties because they happen to be involved in the Roman Catholic Church. I do not believe that. I think that comes from the mouths of hate mongers. We do not need you. To defend them. I will you, say you it if I there. choose. You are up there to defend the Jews. I'm not up here to defend anyone. If you, would, if you would stick to that and leave the Catholic references out of it, everybody would be happy. Now, the papal state is an independent. It is has nothing to do with a foreign nation. Your argument on that was whether or not donating money to build roads, dams, and so on. And the Catholic Church does not build roads, dams, or anything of that sort. That money only goes to the papal state long enough well, let me to ask contribute you, to poorer countries where the money is put to church. Well, let me ask you now, one more question. May I ask you one more question? May I ask you one? you may ask me a question. Do you believe that Jew Jews have a dual allegiance? I don't know anything about Jews. I'm not making a study of the Jews. Why not? I have made a study of the Catholic Church, and I happen to know about the Catholic Church because well, I happen to be Catholic. Well, let me just now, say that I happen yeah. to be married to a Roman Catholic. 
Yeah. And I happen to love this girl, and I don't care what her allegiance happens to be, and I don't believe there's any she dual allegiance. Have an allegiance. Now, don't put that insinuation across again. Uh, it's not an insinuation on my... Have an allegiance to this is an insinuation on your part, sir, not mine. You, you just put it across. Now, one more thing. No, I say now, that it's a false okay, no, argument. You, you seem to be have a strong objection to Jewish children being subjected to reading the Christian Bible. Is that correct? I said nothing feel, of that sort. You don't feel that they should be. I but said nothing. Wait, wait okay. a minute. Now, wait a minute. I'll get, uh, I'll I'll get as hot as I want, sir, when you make a statement that's not true. All right, make your statement. I made no such statement. What, did you, what statement did you make? I made no statement about the Bible or Jews sure. or Christians or anything like oh, that. Oh, come off it. You made a statement about the... Jewish children being forced to read Bibles or say when, when was the state when school. was this statement made? That same program. Mr. Now, McDermott, who was a member of the Catholic Interracial Council, made that statement. Okay, do you agree with it? Do you agree with uh, Jewish children reading the Bible or do you object to it? Well, I it's, I think it's my business what I believe and what my children should believe, don't well, you? I don't well, ask you what Bible you believe in. Hold it. Now, I <clears throat> I, I think it's your, you. it is your personal privilege to believe what you want, and it's my That's personal right. privilege to believe what right. I want. But now, don't try to convert me to anything that you want I'm me to not believe. I'm trying to convert you. You have never voiced an opinion, and it has been brought up, whether or not you object. You have never objected to any Christian science child being subjected to an operation through a court order. Now, that is done for the good of the body. Now, the Christian faith believes that the... Moral, the moral good of the soul by far out exceeds the um, uh, physical body. The spiritual welfare of the soul exceeds the uh, physical uh, welfare. Now, don't you think it would be nice that Jewish children could read both sides of the story? You can teach them your faith afterwards. Well, do you think the vice versa should apply? Sure. Well, sure. I'm for that. All right. Okay. Well, the books he was talking about, I'm for putting them in the schools. That's you not what he... Are? You see, the Bible is not outlawed from the schools. The Bible isn't? No. The Bible reading is, though. Yeah, the forced prayers are. All right. Forced prayers. All right, now, don't you think it would be fair that we should put the Bible in the schools and they could... The Bible read? can be taught in the schools. They can read the Bible. The Bible can, can be read. taught in the schools, they sir. And if you read the Supreme Court decision on that particular matter, you'd find that they're not anti-religion or anti-Bible. They said very clearly that the Bible should be taught through public instruction in the schools, but that prayers, prayers, sectarian prayers, should not be forced upon one another, which means that in Massachusetts, some years ago, when Catholics were in the minority, Protestants were forcing their version of the Bible down Catholic youth's throats, and they didn't like it. Did they... Uh... Uh, there was great... Oh, was yes, there was well, great objection, wait sir. Second. There you, was no, never any laws changed. There, were, there was great objection to that. But was there any laws changed? Laws changed? Sure there were laws changed. Not then there wasn't. The Supreme Court decision on Bible reading is the only change of law we have well, in regards to that. Then evidently you don't know the history of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and I happen to. Okay, now why don't they go ahead and pass something in Congress now to strengthen the uh, Bible reading? Well, because it is not the law to permit Bible reading, that is, forced oh, prayers no, by no, the no, state. You're backtracking. The Constitution has oh, been sir. There. What, what, what can anybody say to you? Is it possible to talk rationally with you? Because if it is, I'd like to, and I've tried you in the... You can talk rational. No, it, no, it isn't, sir. You're the one that starts screaming. Uh, uh, you're, uh, I, can't, I can be irrational as well, but you're being yeah. irrational. You, I'm not. You provoke me to irrationality. I'm not provoking you. Sure you are. You wouldn't even let me tell now, you what I really felt and what no, I really I, meant. I can imagine how that fellow must have felt. The way you attacked him when he asked you if you were a Pharisee, or I'm sick, you, you jumped all over him. Now, what's the matter with that? That's in the Bible. Do you know what the, how he meant it? No. Then, how did he mean it? Well, that happens to be a term for a hypocritical Jew. And it's an anti-Semitic term that's used all the time within the hate monger group. Oh, now wait. Oh, oh hold up right there. Are now, you the, lit me, the are literal term... Yep. The New Testament is a hate monger? Did I say that? You said it's a term used by hate monger well, groups. Well, sir, I, I think... Out of the New let Testament. me say this. I think we've come to a parting of the ways where I can no longer discuss it rationally with you. Even if you can discuss it rationally with me, I cannot discuss well, now, it rationally with you, all right? Why? You're criticizing... I give up. Now, wait a second. I am a Christian, and you're criticizing my religion. I'm not criticizing you at all. I'm not criticizing yes, you, you at all. Not no. at all, sir. 
You insinuate here, right here and now you're insinuating that our New Testament, our Bible, is a hate monger. I, which didn't, it is not. I didn't say that at all, sir. Craig's preach, turn the other cheek and everything. Oh, I'm sure, and just like you are. With love and brotherhood for everyone, right? I've, I got no gripes against you or anybody else. I'm just trying to get some facts out here. Is that a fact? Yes. Yeah. You, 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 okay. Uh, may I may I ask you one more question? Was Roosevelt a Jew? Roosevelt? Yeah. Oh, why? Was Eisenhower? I don't... No, I don't suppose. I, why? You don't I, suppose? I mean, sir, don't you know? No, no I don't. What? You don't do know? Eisenhower and Roosevelt, what have they got to do the with it? The same man that was here that night was asked those questions, and he wasn't sure. Well, I, I don't know why you asked me. Well, I'm just asking you whether you agree with him. Do you think that Roosevelt, his real name was Rosenfeld? Do you think that Eisenhower was a Swedish Jew? I never heard that. Uh, that same night, sir. You didn't what? hear the things you didn't want to hear. Well, I heard it that night, but I never heard anything about a, a, a Swedish Jew. Well, he said it. Well, what's that got to do with the Bible? Well, I'm just asking you a question. Uh, you may believe in the Bible, and I may believe in the Bible. You can believe in your version. I'll believe in my version. And I say live and let well, live. Are you... You seem to be trying to put across the point that if Eisenhower was a Jew, no, I'm just, I should have something against him. No, I'm wondering whether you do, or whether you believe no. that it's so. No, That's I all. Don't. In fact, I voted for Eisenhower, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Would you vote for a Jew? It depends. If he was uh, conservative, yes. If he was liberal, no. What do you mean by liberal? The way the term goes. Change everything. I don't go for these changes in the... Uh, in the school, taking a Bible reading out and so on. Oh, does that make you a conservative? Yes. Oh, I never heard anything like that. What? I never heard anything like that. Well, isn't that the way the term liberal and conservative? Conservative well, I... generally means to stick by the old proven method, and liberal means to keep jumping around in the dark trying something new all Well, may I... And maybe may... you'll hit on something that works. Uh, may I uh, refer you to a good, uh, um, a good political science teacher? Thanks for the call. Ten minutes to 11 on the new WBBM and WBBM-FM. By the way, if you're a part of the Kelly crowd, I'm sure you realize it's easy enough to join. Just listen to Bud tomorrow morning and be entertained and he'll make your mornings pleasurable. Join the Kelly crowd tomorrow on WBBM Radio 780 on your dial. It is now nine minutes to 11. We've established that. From now on, read Newsweek. Newsweek separates fact from opinion. Hello? Am I on the air now? You bet. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, you, you must really, you've really had a night tonight, haven't you? You've been listening to America's largest town meeting of the year with your host and commentator, Jerry Williams. WBBM Radio, the talk of Chicago, invites you to listen nightly at 8 to the Jerry Williams Show. The views and opinions expressed on the preceding program do not necessarily constitute the views and opinions of WBBM Radio and participating sponsors.